Guys in the Bronx and Brooklyn.
Good afternoon, and welcome to the Bengal Vision Live webcast of SUNY Kitten versus UMFK. And goal for SUNY Kitten, Romero Flares. Number two, Dan Brown. Number five, Justin Martin. Number nine, Chris Camilla. Number ten, Rep Abrahams. Number eleven, Jordan Saunders. Number fourteen, Josh Harvey. Number fifteen, Colby Young. Number seventeen, Dennis Frost. Number 22, Luke and Fixama. Number 25, John Jones. And now for the UMFK Bengals starting lineup. And goalkeep, number one. Debbie Girard from Quebec. Number four from South Africa, Spence Jacoby. Number six from Jamaica, Jermaine West. Number seven from Jamaica, Hanley DJ Comrie. Number nine in the back from Jamaica. Barrington, Barry Blake. Number 10 from Trinidad and Tobago, Keith Trini Williams. Number 12 from Jamaica, Wally Stewart. Number 17 from Croatia, Luka Odak. Number 18 from Jamaica, Oniki Sneaky Samuels. And number 21 from Jamaica, Damian Papa Stone. And our captain, number three from Jamaica, Andre Shorty Anderson. SUNY Can is head coached by Mark Howlett, University of Maine at Fort Kent, is head coach by Bill Ashby with assistant coach Jim Rowe, athletic trainer Sarah K. Michelle. Now play the national anthem. University of Maine at Fort Kent welcomes all players, officials, and spectators to today's contest. As a member of the NAIA and Sunrise Conference, we are committed to the true spirit of competition by being a champion of character. 
to the five core character values in IA embraces, which are respect, integrity, responsibility, servant leadership, and sportsmanship. Again, you're watching the University of Maine Fort Kent Binkle Vision live webcast. The 2010 Sunrise Conference Men's Women's Soccer Doubleheader with Sue McCann. And contact Sports Information Director Eric Warrington at W-E-R-N-T-G-E-N at Maine, M-A-I-N-E dot E-D-U. With any technical difficulties, questions, or comments regarding today's broadcast. And we're underway. And they finding West out. Stone with some space in the backfield. Looks wide his fence. Looking up the line to Trini. He finds Luca. But a push, and that's going to be a free kick. Just outside the 18. Rushing for the ball. Number 22, Vixama. Number 10, Abraham. He's got Vixama behind him. Can't quite find him. There's Barry in the back. Finds Wally. Up to wide suspense. Down the line. Finds Zuko with a good ball. Quick short pass at Trini. Finds Wally. Played out back to Barry. Barry's got some time and some space to think about it. He finds him Nikki. There's West with his quick feet on the outside. Nikki. Good ball to Damien. Not wide to Spence. Spence sends one in. Headed in by Keith. Scooped up by goalkeeper Romero Flores. Headed by Nicky. Jermaine saves it. Rick Samba kicks it out. And it's going to be a throw in for the Bengals. Take it by Nicky. He finds Wally. Wally switches fields over to Spencer. Spencer finds Luke with another ball. Spencer. Little live ball to Keith. Keith plays it out to Spence. He's got some time back there. He's gonna, gonna put it in. Forrest is gonna pick up the ball. After playing a little bit of mind game. Penguins have been dominating the possession, although it's only been about three minutes. Hard to say yet, but it seems that the Penguins are probably going to have some pretty quick passes. And many of them. Pass. Going out. Keeping the ball in. Good touch. Good first touch. Quick feet, gonna cross it in. <laughs> a beautiful ball from Jermaine West. Pretty with a great finish off the post. The score is one to nothing after just three and a half minutes. Wally Stewart with a big ball out to Jermaine West. Then Jermaine put a little ground cross in. 
Finished off by Shardy. Spencer with a good tackle. Sunni Kane putting the ball too far out. They gotta keep it on the ground and make these passes shorter and quicker if they want to keep them. Getting a few touches for himself. And Spence. Switching in the middle, finding Damien. Trying to play that wide to Onigi. While he places the ball back to Barry. Barry puts it out. Trying to get Jermaine, but it's a little too much. Fourteen, Josh Harvey. Throws it in. Number nine, Canella. Trying to find Brown, but no luck. And Gerard gets his feet on the ball for the first time today. And Zuniki turns around. West moving down the line. West is in footwork. Henley. Nice, nice through ball to West. West is going to cross that one in. A little too much. It sails side and wide. I'm going to be taken by the wind. Getting some action on the ball. Place it back out to Spence. Back to Barry. Only get a touch. Find Keith. Keith trying to play the ball in the middle. Picked off by Sunni Kane. They're on a counter attack here. They've got Vic Sam away on the wide and the left, but I'm not sure if they know it. There's Barry. Ball finding Jermaine's feet. Short pass to Oniki. Shorty, a little slip there. Bengals have possession again. I'm going to reload this attack. Nice one, too, from Jermaine. Uh, would have been a beautiful finish. Damien trying to keep the ball in. And it goes out. Sunni throwing. Vic Samba coming to put some pressure on Aniki. Aniki gets by pretty easily. Damien with some space out wide. Finding Spencer. Playing a long ball. Trying to keep. Keith lays it off. Luca. Oh. Just inches from finding Shorty's feet. 
defense is going to head it back in to reload this attack again. Oh, he's going to find some space. He's a nice touch and turn. Tripped up. It's going to be a free kick. There's Omniki. Crosses it in. A little too high for Keith. Nuka gets it. Might have been a handball. And it was. Just outside the 18. A couple feet closer. Would have been a bouncy kick. We're almost 10 minutes through. We're in our 10th minute. Scores one to nothing. Goal scored by Shorty. Andre Anderson. Assisted by Jermaine West. But a great first touch on a bar received by on a ball sent by Wally. And here we are on this kick. Luca aims in. Flowers gets it. He's gonna kick it out. But it's only Abraham's up front and he can't take on two or three of defenders. So needless to say. Four count will be back in possession in a minute. Is Sunni the throw? It looks like there's a sub. Number 17, Dennis Frost, stepping off. I know. I don't know if the free kick. Dennis Frost is taking the free kick. Pressure on Spence. Some good short balls there, but Onigi turns. Shorty, nice ball to West. He might take that in here. Very good pass. Only a couple inches away from Keith. Gonna be out for a goal kick. And stepping off is number 25, John Jones. Coming in, number six, James Catalaz. Catalaz. Man, that's my first one in again. I think there may have been a handball on West, yeah. Trying to go on the counter. Here's Abrahams trying to work his way around West. But as tight as they're too far out, the Bengals are quick to get him. Let's 
to and again. A little bit of possession here. Seem to have a hard time connecting on more than two or three passes in a row, though. Spence is going to switch fields. Jermaine. Molly. Finding Luca. Jermaine. Beautiful, beautiful diagonal ball of Keith Williams. Keith's going to send it up. It's a little too high and wide. Flores is going to set it up for his for another goal kick. Finding Vicdema outside. And Barry sends one flying out. Great tackle. Number six, Cadillas. Cadillas. Steve Williams and Shorty. Handling a two on four nicely. And it's up for the ball. Ben's on the outside, coming in towards the middle. Sends him flying in. <laughs> Just a couple feet off the mark. DJ, Funny Spence, Arch Luca. A little bit of miscommunication over there. It's going to be a Sunni Cant zone. Luca gets his head in the ball. Goes to Spence, and Spence is going to play it out to the middle. High ball to Barry. Barry sells it quickly. Santo Niki, Uru Samuels. To West, he turns, he sees the line. It goes out. Wasted ball to Barry. Wally. Switching it over. Dispense again. How back it's done. Wally. Keith Williams. Oh, great through ball. Awesome through by Wally. Flores is going to sit up. Kick it out. And the Camry plays it out back. Luca. Here's Spence. Sends it in. Great save by Flores. Great shot by Spence. Luca. Well, he sends one in. Flores puts a hold of it. Kicks it out. Zooms past Uru's shoulder. And it's going to be out for a, for a Sunni Kanto. 
But soon can kick. I think they may have called a foul on Barry or Nicky. Number six, Catillas. Line drive through ball. Shorty puts a little too much on it. Unlucky touch. That's going to be a scenic hands on. Shorty trying to find a through ball Rasta. Here's West, pressure on his back. Some good short passing, but maybe only slightly miscommunication. Shorty works his way around. Rixama puts the ball away from pressure. And West has a line here. West might have had a good break there, but he got tripped up by Rixama. He's back on his feet, jogging. Bent. Why? Stone. He finds Shorty. Shorty did a great job winning that ball. West again, facing some, uh, facing some legs from Vixama. A little bit of a kick there. Bent. Puts him up high and right. Been shooting on goal quite a bit today. I think he wants to go pretty badly. And Lee Comrie is going to step in. Or step off. Russ Moore is going to step on. Great through ball. Romero, looking out to Abrahams. Abrahams trying to face three defenders by himself. Now four. It's a five on two. Cadillac. A little bit of a foul on Barry. No, no foul, just a throw in. Stone working his way up. Stone playing out in the middle of the berry. Nice ball to West. I think he's got a good touch on this. Great first touches all around. He was on size. Uh, but he couldn't finish. That's a great. Great ball from Wilder uh, Williams. Ooh, sends one in. That's a little too high for turning. Shorty puts it away. Shorty puts it away. Shorty puts Abraham taking the throw in. Find the Vixama. Williams is back. Back to defender. Nice turn. He may cross it in. Get away. Wally. Wally's cross the stayed away. He plays it out wide. 
Fans, Uru. Not so much there as unlucky. Number 14, Harvey's going to take a throw in here for Sunny Cannon. Only can come on the back of, of Abraham's to get his front of the ball. But it falls back into Sunny Cannon possession. Wide to Abrahams. Facing on Nikki. Number nine, Canela. Fighting for the ball back there. Stone working his way up, makes it a midfield and a little too strong of a through ball. We're in our 26th minute. Score is one to nothing. We had an early goal within the first maybe five or so minutes. By Andre. Shorty Anderson. Nice assist from Jermaine West earlier. Here we are 19 minutes to go. Who's going to get throwing? There's a lot of space where his position is. You're going to see. You're going to see West. Jamie calls for it. He's going to fire one in. And it's wide. Again, facing uh, facing four defenders on his own. Now he's got some help. Canela finding Katias. A little bit of a push there. So we're just doing a counter free kick. Again, trying to count me here. Stone has it away. So you can't throw in to Abraham's. for the Bengals. Put it back to Barry. Barry's going to put it out wide to Oniki. Back to Barry. Stone.
Shinzu coming in. Puts him across. Ball played out to West, who might have made this one for the win. Playing a through ball. And it's back out to Bengal space. Spence puts a little bit too much on it. It's going to be a cat and throwing. Scores one to nothing. You're watching a Bingo Vision live webcast with 2010 Fort Kent doubleheader between UMF Keg and SUNY Canton. The women will play next. Oh, 15 minutes left in the first half. Just approaching our 31st minute. Sends one out and might have nicked Oniki's hand there. Abraham's drives one. Went out pretty wide. Over to the wind side. A lot of SUNY can shots are going to be going right. Four can shots are going to be going left. And the wind's picking up here. It's a chilly day, but still a pretty decent crowd. There's some time to think. Finds Wally. Nice one, two there. And then he finds running the through ball. Frost kicks it out. Get crossed in. Looks like Keith Williams might take a little bit of hit, a little bit of hit there from the goalie. An elbow or a forearm or something. It looks like. Just checking himself to see if he's all right. Soon he can't. Yeah. Foul on, on Wally. Free kick. Looks like Canal's going to take it. Kumela. Relaxing a little bit of talk there. I don't think Uru is completely sure about the ball coming in yet. It's out. Uru is taking it that one. He may look to Shorty. He's going to play it back. A 
Nice throwing outside. Luger trying to execute the back heel pass there. Barry coming up. Martin. Finding West, finding Shorty. Unlucky touch. Looks like Keith Williams got a little bit of a push. Maybe a second call that someone should have called on him. Finally, the ref sees. Sees him getting pushed around there. Free kick. Frost. Tequila's looking at it. Tequila's sends it in. Can't quite find Camilla. Still in senior position. No longer. Well, I place it out back to Barry. Barry sends it out wide. The wind gets it. Doesn't quite make it out wide. Out to West. West plays a good ball through the wind and maybe almost a own goal there. Flores sends one out. Stone. Good ball to Shorty. He might look back and see West. There it is. Crosses it in. Or not Vic Sama. Looks like it might have been off Vic Sama's face. Ooh, the throw in. Here's, the, uh, here's Abrahams. Facing a two on one. No luck there. Over. Looks down the line. West is going to let Vic Sama just pick that out. He'll take it. He's going to throw in to Shorty. Shorty cutting through defenders like it's nothing. Here's Spence. He's in his range. It took a little too long. Spence sprinting back. Trying to get goal side. Nicely done. Four can kick. Nice ball from Shorty to Keith. Keith fires one in. Looks like he goes a little bit right. It's going to be a SUNY goal kick. We're in our 38th minute here. One to nothing. We got a goal really early on with a big ball down from from Wally to West, and West crossed it went on the ground, and Shorty had a nice finish there for the goal. West on the assist. But now we that was the first and only goal of the match so far. We've had a scoreless, give or take 40 minutes, give or take a minute. The 
Abraham is going to cross this one in. Not too many Sunnis lined up in the box, but he sends it over. The ball doesn't quite quite stay in the 18 for more than half a second. And we rolled a Sunni throw in. The ball sent in comes dangerously close to the top corner, but just a little bit too high. Here's Williams. Nice ball on the line to Shorty. Abraham's trying to play some footwork here. Out wide to Vixama. Vixama. Here's Frost. Nope. Saunders. Saunders and Vixama working together, but they can't quite get past uh, Barry and Niki. A little bit of a tug there, but might be a little bit of play advantage. Nice ball to Shorty. Uru keeps it in. Russ getting ahead to the ball, putting out wide to Luca. Luca playing it back to Spence. Here's Damien. Damien with a little fake there. With a great finish. He goes a little bit right. We have about three minutes left to go. We have a one to nothing score. UMFK lead. And Romero Flores is going to take a goal kick. Soon he can. Sends one out. Finds the head of Keith Williams. Shorty working for the ball. Sends a little bit wide. A little bit too high for Luca. Here's Abrahams again with a one on five. Now he's got a couple. A couple of teammates to help him out. Uh, looks like the ref is going to rule it a corner kick. I think Sandy Cannon's first of the day. Abraham's going to take this one for the team. They have a good amount of people in the box. Almost a bit of a chance. Flores, well off his, well off his post. <laughs> Would have been dangerous if it wasn't got that ball.
Yes, Uru, with about 45 seconds left. Barry, playing a long ball down. A lot of physical play between Vic Sama and, and Rest. Still about 20 seconds left to go. The Bengals might keep possession, but they will certainly move it up. Eight seconds left. Looks like the half ended with uh with Abraham's pulling on pulling on Stone's arm. And in roughly ten minutes we're gonna be picking up again for the second half. Current score is one to nothing. Um, we had a goal early on, scored by Andre Shorty Anderson with the assist from uh Jermaine West.
Yeah. I thought you were crazy when you were saying that. We were fine for a while, and then it was the last, like, the last, like, five minutes and a half. It gets colder when you don't, when you can't move around. Yeah. We're about to open up the second half again. The second half. We have a one nothing score. Starting lineups are back on. Russ is off and Hamley's back in the midfield. Starting off with a good the one touch ball from Andre. Ben's looking for a through ball there. Ben's going to scoop that up. Keith playing out wide. Ooh. A little stutter step. Debbie scoops it up. Now David Flores. And uh, Santan. Flores gets a hold of that ball. Kick it out. Brown, working with the ball. Luca gets to put on that. Spence finds Luca. To Trini. Trying to play a quick ball to Shorty. Flores is going to pick it up. 
Left to Ernst, like there's a little bit of a cluster in the midfield, so he's going to go there. Let it bounces over their heads. Spence sends it back into Sunni territory. Gonna make it to Wally. And it's gonna be another bingo thrown over there by the corner. Fence pass to Wally. He's been marked off, flagged off sides. And then if he wasn't, it was only by a couple inches. Sends one out, but maybe gets an awkward touch on it. Damien sends the ball down. Ross heads it away. Ooh, plays the ball back to Damien. He's buried in the middle. One more out wide. On Spencer's feet. Spencer sends him right to the back of the head of Dan Brown and, and into the feet of Shorty. He's have a nice turn there. There's a lot of pressure from behind from that from uh, across. Stone. Out to Uru. Dispense, he's got some time. Williams. To Uru. Damon steps out from nowhere. And now everybody's on one half. Barry sends one in. Jumps up and grabs it. Some heavy pressure there. DJ, the stone. Luca's got a lot, a lot of space over there, but. Shorty puts one in and it just goes a little bit wider, the right crossbar.
Substitution for Cena Kane. Abraham is on the field. Number 24. William Glubis is off. Lakshama. Goalie's well off his mark. And the ref thought Luca was too. It didn't seem it, but it's an offside call. Up there, leading the attack. play in the middle of the field. Well, he's going to set up for a free kick. Sends it out. Finds they've gone to flank. That. Very tough foul. Eric Workin here, uh, reporting from the sidelines. Nice up here in the booth, Jeremy. A little bit cold, yeah. Bengals do have the win this half. I don't know if you mentioned that, but yeah. as we can see, the flag's right blowing. Can do a nice job of uh, cutting down the angles here on our, our scoring opportunities. Seems like we've had the better of it, but... Yeah, we've definitely, we definitely held possession and definitely in their half for the most of the time, but I mean, as you can see from the scoreboard, it's only a one nil game, so... And that was early, Jeremy, that first goal. Yeah, it's six minutes, 40 goal from West. It was quick and kind of made you think it would be a high scoring first half, but surprisingly that was it. 5-1 was the score out in New York when these teams hooked up. Yeah, actually, I think that was the first time anyone's uh, put one behind on Debbie Gerard. You're right. That was. It was uh, Coach Ashby was saying it was a, at least from 30-plus uh, 30, 30 yards out. Kind of tucked it into the top corner. I think they had a little help from Wynn there that day, too, is from what I heard. Bengals gave another one up at Machias last week in a scrum, I guess, in front of the net. Was it? And that was a 7-1 was game? Yep. Yep, I think that was 7-1 uh, in Clipperville. Yeah. They had a much easier time in uh, Fisher the day before that. Yes. Well, to talk around NAI soccer is this new modified RPI that they're going to use to uh, to rank teams um, in the final field of 32. I doubt something about that on the website. What is that about? Well, it's a new system. We'll see. Uh, it's you know similar to the RPI you hear about in other sports. They go strength of schedule, win win winning percentage, obviously. Away games get a little more weight than home. Bengals were 12th in the first installment of that in the RPI, and they're sixth nationally in the coaches' poll. So, top 15 will host opening round matches. Bengals have done that back to back seasons here in Fort Kent. Yeah, 
We had the snow bowl two years ago, and then last year didn't have to worry as much about the snow, but we had the tarps out there, the tarp, tarp crew, as we got a lot of rain. Canton dodged, dodged another bullet there, Jeremy. Yeah. Shorty put in a nice cross, and it was only only a couple feet away from the goal line. Keeper Flores seems to be pretty active. Yeah, he's definitely seeing a good amount of action. A lot more than David. There's Spence with a nice step. This could be another opportunity. A ball skimmed across. That's Stewart. Finished by Wally. Andre Anderson had a great, great ground ball there. You would figure it's only a matter of time as they were knocking on the door here. Yeah. They've had a lot of play in this half. Almost, almost all of it, actually. So. See if Canton will be able to weather it here, or the floodgates will open. 2-0 now. Looks like uh, Henley Comrie is going to be stepping off. Comrie will get a break. And the freshman checking in. I mean, I'm a man. From Montreal. Spencer's been solid back here today, Jeremy. Yeah, Playing he his full back position. He's made some nice runs. A lot of good, uh... A lot of good balls down the sideline, too. He's I mean, how... He's finding Luca pretty easily. How rock solid is this defense uh, in front of Girard? Um, of course, the All-American, Blake. Yeah, he's got a... You can hear him on the field. He always knows what to do when he lets his teammates know what, where to be. And he really is the voice of the backfield, though. Stone back here, Samuels and, and Jacoby, as we talked about, make it a very formidable back for any any offense to try and attack. And they proved that too at the national level. Yep. Okay, they do a good job pushing the field, finding the winners right there. Oniki does a great job finding West, and then they really do pin you in, don't they? As you see Jacoby advancing right on the back of Odic. Yeah. Into the offensive half. Really could be, a, you know, could afford to be defensive-minded, but I don't know if it's in their in their makeup. But they are up two goals. See Stone hanging back here with yeah. Blake. Is that nice switch there? Brown gets his head to it. Spends to the throw in. So just to follow up on the RPI, um, it could get could get interesting because, like I said, that's going to be used for the final field going into the national tournament. So. I don't know if that will affect the coaches' polls. It didn't this week as the Bengals remained at six. And talking to Coach Ashton before the game, thinking they could possibly move up here if they win today. Yeah. As there's been some, some shake-up already this week in the top five, so. Well, he's got to throw politics into, into uh, everything. <laughs> so this RPI will be interesting to follow. There's two more, two more RPIs will come out. Another one this week, and then following conference championships, the final RPI, like I said, to rank the field. Get home field advantage, right? And then home field and uh, and yeah, all the rankings. So the yeah. top 15 out of those 31, because the host school will get an automatic bid. Out of Alabama, I'll have to check that school. So then the other 31 will be ranked accordingly, and the top 15 will host. 
Bengals beating Northwood, Florida two seasons ago when they made it to the Elite Eight. Last season losing to Indiana Tech in extra time 1-0. Shocking loss there as they ran into a very hot keeper and got some help from uh, the officials. As us home folks will always complain about, but... It'll be live here on uh, Bengal Vision if the Bengals are lucky enough to host. Another nice save there by Flores. Uh, Jeremy, he's been solid. He is. He's Nothing he could do on that second goal. I didn't catch the first one, but about the same, says Andrew, our, our man behind the lens here. So you can women taking uh, the practice field here as they get ready for the game number two. Scheduled for a 1 p.m. Eastern start time. Lady Bengals getting votes, too, in the polls. And they were actually, I think, 38th in the RPI. Um, and got, I believe, four votes last week. Top 25. Canton player down here. Like uh, Abraham. Everything. A kid that looks like they've been counting on for some some offense up front, Jeremy. And uh, so this. Yeah, him and uh, him and Vic Samba have been working the uh, left side for Sumi Can, and they're they're both critical players in all the attacks. Sumi's been trying to lead. Was that Stone that uh, might have got a piece of him, or was that Blake? I didn't see. It looked like Stone was back there tending to him, so it may have been. It may yeah. Have been Stone. He's still there. He's concerned. Yeah. Nothing intentional, of course. Next Saturday's game here on Bengal Vision is just a men's game against College of St. Joseph as the women's program uh, has, has uh, folded. So just be a men's game next week, 11 a.m. start, College of St. Joseph out of Rutland, Vermont. As the Bengals are hitting the tail end of their conference play. We'll host Fisher College the following uh, Sunday. I believe that's the 24th, Jeremy, and then uh, hit the road for a couple in Vermont. And that wraps up. Yep. Sunrise by. Bengals hoping, and it uh, looks like they'll get it, but hoping for an invitation to the United States College Athletic Association playoffs held in Vermont. Both women and men are number one in those polls this past week. So that'll give them a, a tune-up, so to speak, before Sunrise Conference Final Four play and then uh, possible another appearance at Nationals. So the player taken off, not promising for the Canton side. Being carried off the top on the corner of the leg. carried. Bengals have some players warming up on the sideline, and I need that literally and uh, figuratively today. It's quite quite windy and cold. Getting themselves going, though. Can't look to make a... Uh, a substitution, and they do. Can't catch the number there, Jeremy, but... Okay, it could be number eight or nine. I know number nine is Camilla. I'm not sure if that's number nine, though. Looks like in, uh, number eight. Number eight, eight checking in. James Purvis. He's making his first appearance today. Uh, there's Camilla up front, putting some pressure on Spence. <laughs> Hopefully this sub will make a pretty decent impact for Sunni Cannon's sake. That's what they're hoping. Some yeah. fresh legs in there. They did, they did put a sub in in the first half, and he started the second half, too, number six. Yeah, they must have, uh, must have liked his play. Yeah. Odick in the box. 
Dunk's coming out. Nice to see. Funny, once you get playing, Jeremy, as you know, you don't really notice no, you don't. the weather. I'm sure these players, once they once they got into it, feel fine. Play there. Ends up with the ball. He might strike it. And he does. Whoa. There's another goal. A rifle. <laughs> what a foot there. You could just see him yeah. dancing across the box. And uh, once again, not much Flores could do. Looks like Flores might have almost got a hand on it. Anderson adds to his resume here, the senior captain. For all the points today, he had two, two goals and one assist so far. So. School's all-time leader in goals, adding to that number. Like you said, he's still got some more. Some he more does. To go. He does. And missed uh, missed a chunk of games last year, his junior year, to injury. Still managed, I believe, 15 goals last season. Yeah. But what a career he's had. He's like nothing more to end it for the national championship. And that is the talk here again this season. Number six in the nation. And up front, I mean, I'm a man. He's, he's probably looking to get a lot of goals in the as well. Yeah, he's been a great, a great addition. He scored uh, five goals in his second appearance. He's got a... Uh, he's one of the top three goal scorers on the team, alongside uh, Andre and Keith Williams. A little free kick for as soon as you can. Got just under 26 minutes left to go. Three to nothing score. Four can lead. It's been, this is very rare in the uh, UMFK soccer circles, but Bengals have no back to backs uh, on the season here, games. Which I found quite interesting. We're used to playing a lot of Saturday, Sunday games, but just the way it happened this season. Yeah. So that's good, uh, you know, when you're resting injuries or or whatnot. And then I remember playing my season down South Point, the back to back games are a little strenuous. That's grueling, and especially in a sport like this. There's a nice run by Stewart, but he's off. Run was only just a couple of seconds, half a second off time. Good run on the left. Or is it down? For doing that spot in the back deck. Bengals will continue to uh, display this depth on their roster as. You mentioned El Mum. Uh, can you pronounce that for me again, Jeremy? I always Mean-Yo say it wrong for El Mumen. Yeah. He told me a couple weeks ago, but I, I keep messing it up. But try saying working. <laughs> so I'm in, and um, we saw Mortland, of course, in the first half. Yeah. He's been in and out of the starting lineup this year. And they will continue to, to bring guys in here. And as a... Uh, See if we can bring Coach Levesque in for a preview of the women's game coming up. I see him getting his ladies out here. Coach Levesque taking the field here at 1 p.m. The Lady Bengals uh, give us a preview. Talk about uh, how the ladies have been doing. We uh, like we've been playing pretty well. We uh, unfortunately had a few injuries here that are uh, kind of hard uh, for us to keep getting rhythm going forward, but we've done well. We've got a couple tough tests this weekend with uh, Canton today and then uh, going down to Humane Farmington tomorrow, but, uh, you know, hopefully uh, hopefully we continue to stay healthy and continue to play well. Andre Anderson topping off his hat trick. 
The gates, the floodgates have opened. Uh, yes, Coach Levesque, you've had uh, man. It's been a it's been an interesting schedule, to say the least. You opened with three straight games to open the season, and then uh, this weekend, of course, like you said, you go to play a, a Farmington team tomorrow. Um, you play Canton here today. You, um, Mindy Morno, of course, uh, the big injury for the season, and now you got another one. So who who are you looking to step up and and fill those voids? Of course, Liz Morno, her sister, now playing goal. But what do you think about that? Uh, so far, we've uh, you know the good news is we knew coming into the season we we were going to be fairly deep and, and definitely the, the deepest team we've had. So um, we had a freshman, Victoria Iredale Dubois, who. Uh, has stepped up and played really, really well for us in the midfield. And uh, unfortunately, we had Teresa, uh, Teresa Biggs out for the good portion of of, uh, of our schedule early on. And with her returning, that kind of evens out the loss of, of Mary Pierre Daze, who is going to be a big loss for us. But you know, it would have been, been spectacular if we could have get those two playing together. But um, with Mary Pierre out with the, with an ACL tear, and uh, Morgan Chass is also out with a with a, a, a slight tear in her hip. So uh, we've lost three three potential starters for for the season, but uh, you know we've had a lot of people step up. Jen Colpitz has been playing pretty well off the bench for us, and uh, Donnie Ferrer has done some great things up front. And uh, I think we'll we'll continue to uh, to keep pushing forward and, and do some good things. All right, Coach Levesque, we'll uh, we'll let you get prepped here for your 1 p.m. Uh, start as the Bengals, Lady Bengals. Um, receiving votes in the top 25 again this past week, and uh, we wish you uh, nothing but the, the best of luck. Okay, and hopefully you don't lose a bet today. That's Coach Levesque making his way out. Yeah, they've uh, they've really been decimated with injury, but it shows you once again that they do have solid depth as well, Jeremy. As he uh, he's he's had some ladies really step up. And they have they have a lot of great players coming off the bench like you said. Back Although it is unfortunate that teams play with injuries. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it, and you really feel you feel for all of them, but especially the senior captain, Mindy Morno, that went down uh, down in Maine Maritime. Yeah. Uh, but she's doing well. Seen her, uh, seen her around the team, back in good health, which is nice to see. So the fourth goal was by Anderson. Is that correct, Jeremy? He, uh, he pretty much carried it in. Yeah, yeah. Here's Luca. Move in. Oh, just a little bit out of its reach. Well, I'm going to check the grounds here, Jeremy. I'll leave you to it. And uh, we look forward to uh, the, the upcoming women's game here. Now is Eric Larkin, sports director, information director. Yeah, it's going to be a left to go with a 4 nothing score. Damien Stone making his way up front, getting some action up top. Ben switching in. Up the ball, takes some space, tackle from behind. That deserves a broken but the referee's not making any kind of reach for his pocket. Thank you. 
performance today.
แอสซอฟยาลุกเจอมากับฟังมันเป็นเพราะที่ทุกคนที่เข้ามาในเกมเป็นคนที่มีชีวิตที่มีความสุขมากที่สุดในโลกที่เราได้รับมาจากการเล่นเกมแบบนี้Right now, the entire, the entire Union FK squad on the field is all off the bench with the exception of Emily, Uru, and David. They still don't plan on letting up at all. They're going to rest up the ball there. Not the job. Parker. Stay on. Make his way up. Do a sliding challenge there. Let's go. The forty nothing score. Thank you. We scored one in the first half. Two in the second. Andre, Shorty Anderson, Ed Snicker, credited for three of the goals. One of the assists for the other one. Williams was on the field earlier with the U.S. 
NBA Player of the Week Award, Male Offensive Player of the Week Award. He credited himself seven goals over three games. Nice ball to Russ. A man fires one in. Got a good curve on it, but we'll throw a couple yards, couple of yards too wide. I scared Boris from the back. He has to step up for the focus. Action in the back. 
Yeah, Brad, that's out. Thrown in quickly. Conway. Pete. Nice through ball. Finds the own. DJ. Nice moves inside. Oh! Would have been. <laughs> We are in a great finish from Amino, man. I mean, a little disappointed, but he needs to learn to just brush off his shoulders and move on. Bean was off. I don't think he was quite ready for the counterattack yet. He was still working in his way to get on sides. We have just over two minutes left to go. For nothing. A little muffed free kick. Play over there on the side. Can't quite clear it out. So to do that, it's going to be a throw in. Find the Mella. Mella will turn on the go. That was a good step. Yeah, he might stay with him. He's cheap. Can he do a choice to move the ball to the middle like that? He'll pull it off. He's got some space in the back. He's going to find it like that. Yeah, great ball to see. Another five, yeah, just a minor steps in and just a foot on that. And I mean, coming in trying to redeem himself earlier, but can't quite get there in time. Flores is going to kick it away. Go past him at that. Pushing on his back. Nothing against the SUNY can can Ruse. Um, the first goal in the first half was a assist from from Jermaine West, finished off by Cody for the goal. And he got two more in the second half as well as an assist to Wally Stewart. Uh, this has been a University of Maine for a Kent Bengal Vision Live webcast with 2010 Sunrise Conference Men's and Women's Soccer Doubleheader with SUNY Can. Uh, in about 10 minutes, roughly, the women's team will start. Um, contact Sports Information Director Eric Workin at W E R N T G E N at Main, M A I N E dot E D U. If any technical difficulties, questions, or comments regarding these broadcasts, and again, the next, next match of the men will be a week from today. Uh, same place, 